All right, so today's video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks you can use to edit your photos in Photoshop. And it's going to help you tone up your portrait game in Photoshop when you're retouching. And it's also going to help you if you're new to retouching or you're now starting up. Or even if you're already in it and then you want one or two things to add to the knowledge that you have in Photoshop already. So that is the main purpose of this video today. My name is Accordedy and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. If you're new here, I want to say a big welcome to you and thanks so much for joining us today. So let's dive right in and start editing. So I have my image over here already. So let me zoom in. So we examine the image a little bit. So we have this um, acne and stuff on her face and it's quite obvious that in every retouch process you definitely have to remove all the acne on your image yeah and make sure the skin is looking nice so the first tip i have for you is first you have to um, prep your image right so by prepping your image i mean removing any unwanted stuff on your image that includes the acne the pimples black spots or anything like that from your image so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just hold ctrl and nj to duplicate the background layer let's zoom in to the acne we're going to use the patch tool to do this so we're going to select it over here and then we're going to come here and we zoom into our image like this so we're going to just circle around and then just drag it to a cleaner area like that just drag and drop to a cleaner area we're going to repeat this to all the parts of her face or the acne on the face any anything you want to remove from her face you're just gonna circle and then just drag it to a much cleaner area so you can just follow along like i'm doing and then just clear the face okay you're gonna take your time just circle and then drag to a cleaner area circle and drag to a cleaner area like that So I mostly do this all the time whenever I'm retouching. That is to prep my image first. One mistake that I've, I've noticed that people do, or even when I was starting up in photography, when I was, I was starting up in retouching, I used to do is I first create my frequency separation adjustment layers, and then I just start doing my retouch without doing this cleanup. And what I realized was after I finish doing a retouch, I still have this this stuff on a face that it creates some kind of effect that I have to remove all again. And then it actually didn't make the image look nice. The result of the image, like the image at the end, it didn't look that nice for me compared to when I started removing it before doing my frequent separation and, and, and other stuff. Yeah, so I always recommend that you first and foremost remove this before you start your frequency separation. Yeah, so I'm gonna speed this up. I hope you've gotten the points that I'm trying to make over here. Yeah, so let's just speed this up and then I'll be back with the next step. So to navigate your image around, just hold the space bar and then just drag it around. Whenever you, you hold the space bar, it's gonna bring about the hand tool and then you're just gonna drag it around to navigate your image. So I'm going to zoom out, just check my image once again to make sure everything is looking much better for this the before and this the after. As you can see, we have a nice and then a clean image. So let's move to the next step, which is creating our frequency separation adjustment layers. All right, so I'm going to zoom out like this. Then I'm going to duplicate our layer one again by pressing Ctrl and then J like this. So I'm going to name this texture. And I'm gonna name this color. All right, so I'm gonna hide the texture layer. Then I'm gonna come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm gonna set this to 3.5. As a uh, that's a blur radius. I'm gonna set it to 3.5, or let me just keep it at 4, 4.0. I'm gonna select OK now. So you're gonna blur it in a way that you're not gonna see any sharp details or anything like that, right? 
all right so now let me zoom out once again let me select the texture layer make it visible now we're going to come to image and come to apply image yeah then we're going to change the side the layer side to color and we're going to keep the channels at rgb then we're going to change the blending to subtract then we're going to change the scale to 2 and then the offset at 128 like this then we're going to uncheck this once then keep the opacity at 100 percent and then we're just going to select okay we're going to come here once again and then change the blend mode to linear lights like this as you can see our image is back to how it was before yeah that's back to how it was before so now we're going to move to the next step which is we're going to try and then blend our um colors in you're gonna blend our tones in and then get that smooth skin right yeah so we're gonna select the color layer like this and we're gonna select the mixture brush to the mixer brush to sorry so this is the settings i'm gonna use for this image so make sure this is my brushes soft round brush and then we're gonna keep this at clean brush we're gonna uncheck this one we're gonna check this Set this to custom wet is at 19%, load is at 16%, mix is at 31%, and then flow is at 48%. I'm gonna keep this a brush at 10%. Right, right. So let me just zoom out a little bit more. Let's check out the image once again. So with the settings done, I'm gonna just increase the brush a little bit and I'm just gonna start brushing in. So you're gonna do it gently not to um in ghana we call it giggity don't do it giggity <laughs> just take your time and then just brush the colors in just easily like that so the next step will be the eye cleaning but then let's finish this one first i'm going to show you that yeah and then i'm going to show you the dodging and burning as well i have a very nice way of doing it that's very fast and easy I'm going to show you that in this tutorial as well so make sure you stick and stay to the end all right so you're just going to brush in the colors like that always make sure one tip is to always make sure you you brush into just um, the tones if um, the place you are brushing is a mid-tone make sure you are brushing in the mid-tones if the place you are brushing is shadows make sure you're brushing only in the shadows yeah, that way your, your tones are going to be consistent. But if you mix everything up, everything is going to look mm, not nice, ugly. Yeah, so you just take your time and then just brush, brush in the tones like that. Just mixing it up gradually, just back and forth strokes. Yeah. Just keep brushing. As you can see, we are not that far away, but then you can see some great results. And I'm gonna just gonna brush the colors in like that. So just follow along and then just keep brushing. Once again, I'm gonna speed this side up, so I'll be right back. Just follow along and then just do as I'm doing right here. And another thing, I mostly edit my images in 8 bits. I had someone ask me if my image is 8 bits or or the settings I just did, if the settings is in 8 bits or not. Yeah, it's in 8 bits, not in 16 bits. Yeah. Yeah, if you want this action as well, you can just check out the link in my description box below to get this action very fast for you. It's gonna make the it's gonna create the layers for you and then just create all the settings and everything for you. So it's just one tap you're just gonna tap it and then it's just gonna play everything for you so you, all you have to do is just brush the colors in and you're good to go yeah so you can check it out in my description box below to purchase it all right let me zoom in real quick let's check how our image is looking so this is the before let me group this real quick and let's check it before and after so this is the before and there's the after this is the before and then the after let's zoom in once more let's check the results that we are getting this is the before and this is the after as you can see 
our image is looking very nice within just this short period of time our image is looking very nice and smooth right so um let's go on to the next step so the next step will be the eye whiten as i said before right so i have this in my action as well i'm going to make this available in my online store you can download it and then just play around with it as well for your project so you just click on it and then it's going to create your adjustment layers for you right so we have this black thing over here that's the layer mask over here so we're going to use the brush tool to do this so it's already selected the brush too far so we're going to just decrease the size like this and over here you can see the foreground color is white and then the background color is black white means revealing black means height all right so now we're going to use since our adjustment layer or since our layer mask is black we're going to use the white foreground color to make this visible so let's zoom in then we're just going to brush like that so this is the settings i'm using for the brush as well so my opacity is at 100% and my flow is at 100% and my smoothening is at 10%. So I'm just going to brush over the eyes like this. Always make sure the layer mask is selected. All right. So I'm just going to brush on the eyes like that. And as you can see, instantly the eyes is looking white. Yeah. So if the image has some teeth in it as well, you can also use the same process to do this to whiten the teeth. Let me zoom out. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. I don't know if you can see it, but let me zoom it in a little bit more. This is the before and then this is the after. So you want to make the eyes a little bit brighter. You're going to open the folder over here, the group over here. Then we're going to add a curves adjustment layer like this. And then we're just going to increase it like this. And as you can see, the eyes is looking much brighter. So this is the before and then this is the after. Yeah, so this is the before and then this is the after. All right, so bonus tip. I said I was going to show you how to do the dodge and burn. All right, so I have this in an action form as well. I'm going to do a separate video and then show you how to create your own dodge and burn. And yeah, I have a video of it already. In it. Um, yeah. So you can check out my channel and then just locate it and then check it out. But then I'm going to make a new video as well to show you. So let me quickly use the action over here. So I'm going to come to ED Dodge and Burn. So you're going to just click on this like this. And then it's just going to play out the action for you. It's also in a group. So just like we did with the eye, you're going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to select the brush tool. Opacity at 100, flow at 100. Increase the size. So I've already done everything already. So you're just gonna just let's change the foreground color to white to reveal. So whenever you brush, it's just gonna do everything for you automatically. So as you can see, the highlights are being highlighted, and then the shadows are being. Am I gonna say shadowed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it does everything for you automatically so if you feel like the effect is too much you're just gonna go here to the opacity and just lower it like that or you can also open up the group you have everything over here so the burn you have it separately and then the dodge separately as well so you're just gonna play around with it over here and then make sure everything is looking nice to the way you want it All right so that's it for today's video if you want to go in depth on how to retouch your image images in photoshop you can just check out other videos on this channel and then a video is going to pop up where it's going to show you other videos like this on my channel so you can check it out and then yeah see you guys in the next one hope you learned something from it bye bye for now